Hi there, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and in this video, I'd like to take a look at how to control the selection highlighting setting inside of AutoCAD. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, by default, when I select objects inside of AutoCAD, the way AutoCAD tells me that object is selected above and beyond, of course, the grips, is this sort of blue halo effect. And again, of course, as I select additional objects, that halo effect appears for each of those as well. And while some people love this, others not so much. And so that brings sort of the question of how do I control it? Well, first and foremost, the reason I get this by default is because I have hardware acceleration turned on. You can see down here in my status bar, the hardware acceleration icon is blue telling me that it's turned on. So the first way I can disable this setting and if I don't like it is to just right click under graphics or hardware acceleration, choose graphics performance and actually just turn off hardware acceleration. And I will say, okay. And now as I select on these objects, I get that sort of dashed line instead of the glowing line effect that I might prefer. Now, while this does technically accomplish the task of disabling the sort of halo effect and enabling the dashed line effect, it prevents you from taking advantage of some of the other things that hardware acceleration provides to you. So generally speaking, I recommend that if you have a graphics card capable of hardware acceleration, that we turn it on. And so I'm going to re-enable this now. And that will, of course, also re-enable this sort of glowing halo effect. So what if I want to take advantage of hardware acceleration, but I don't like the sort of glowing line effect? And the answer to that question rests with a system variable. Now, for LT users, you can type this in at your command line, um, but full AutoCAD users can come over here to the Express Tools, and there's a really helpful utility here under the Tools panel called System Variables. This just sort of gives me a graphic user interface to change all of the variables inside of AutoCAD. And so if I come into here and I scroll down, there is a system variable called selection effect. And again, I can type this in at the command line, if, especially if I'm using AutoCAD LT. And you'll notice that right here, the default setting is one, which tells me that when hardware acceleration is turned on, I get the glowing line haloing effect here. And so if I don't like that and I prefer dashed lines instead, I can just go ahead and change this value to zero and say, okay. And notice now that hardware acceleration is still turned on. However, if I come over here and I pick on this line, I get the dashed line effect instead of the glowing sort of halo effect. So there you have it, just a very quick tip on how to control the selection highlighting inside of AutoCAD. For the CAD Geek, I'm Donnie Gladfelter. Thanks so much for watching.